hello everyone welcome to my channel niklix so today we will see how to like uh, call a view uh, what are routes in your laravel how you can create a template in your laravel and refer to that template through the blade file uh, through the uh, roots of the laravel and uh, in the yesterday tutorial we have learned like how to install a laravel and uh, after opening the project like uh, the second project i have installed and by clicking on a public folder uh, like you will be uh, presenting with a screen that is showing the documentation laragast and this all template will be rendered so now uh, let's start with the structural part uh, hdocs in hdocs my second project is been available so here basically uh, there is a folder name roots and here is a file which is called web.php so i will just double click on this file and it will be opening in front of me so basically this is a root file uh, whatever whichever page you will be making in your laravel project and that page if you have to open you have to mention uh, you have to create a root root url over here and you have to place that you root url in your web.php file so that it can open for uh, for instance this is the default url that has been made over here uh, what it is been saying is root get slash means if i will be clicking on this slash this is a slash as a whole uh, it will open a function uh that will return a view named welcome so if i if i check that if any welcome view exists in my folder structure i will be going in my second project here uh you have a resources folder a resources folder which will contains all your css js and uh, the views folder in views folder there is a file named welcome.blade.php so welcome.blade.php is a file that is being opened when i am clicking on this slash so i am going to copy this and i am going to paste it over here and uh, i can just like define here as root get slash abc it will return a view named welcome so let's try it in the browser in the after slash i will be typing here abc and the same file is being opened let's uh, do it so uh, let's look upon how these views are been and uh, views are been called uh, with the help of a url so here i am creating a url with the name abc and in the folder uh, i have been opened with the resource in my second project in resources and views uh, there is a file name as welcome.blade.php i will just copy this file with control c paste this file with control v and i will be writing here as uh, 1.php right so 1.php is a file which i have been created let's open this file and just i will uh, write here as hello this is the laravel right so uh, this will be the file with 1.php and uh, this text has been written over here so in web.php i will just say that if i click on uh, this uh, i will just create a new root over here and uh, i will just say as xyz will be a, a route uh, route and it will open a view named one dot php you you have not to write extension over here so one so let's check over here like if i'm opening with if i'm typing here as xyz and if i'm clicking on this uh, enter and it will create a it will display me hello this is the laravel so hello this is the laravel file and if i am going to uh, write here as abc it is displaying me uh, the welcome blade.php file so now what is difference between a normal php file and a welcome.blade.php file dot blade file see a welcome a blade.php file for example like if i am going to write here as uh, there is a some standards that are being used in laravel for coding 
So if you want that standards to be used in uh, the coding standards to be used in your Laravel project, you have to create a blade file. Like uh, for example, like uh, if I have to write an if condition, like uh, the PHP file, I will just declare a variable over here. And if I'm going to write a condition over here, I will write as if a double equals to 10, uh, then I can just put here as h1 right guess and at the rate else and uh, here I can put as wrong guess right so uh, to end if I, I have to close like this and if so this is basically the syntax of Laravel it start from at the rate uh, because if we are like putting a condition of if condition it will start from at the rate and uh, this will be a block like uh, in this if and else block all the statements that are being written will be uh, will be running and if this condition is going to be false then else between the statements between your else block and end if block will, will be running so uh, if a equals to 10 this is basically the syntax of laravel you have to write uh, this way in your laravel file and if i'm going to run this file on uh, my uh, local host like i'm going to say it's xyz so xyz is normal php file uh, xyz is your url and it is going to open a file named one dot php in one dot php is your normal php file so in as it is your normal PHP file, it is not going to understand what is at the rate syntax in Laravel. So, in order to make it uh, the project, uh, the Laravel understand that this is a Laravel syntax, we need to create a file. I will just copy paste it, and I will create as one two dot blade dot php. So one two dot blade dot php same file same things are written in one dot php file and same thing is written in one two blade dot one two dot blade dot php file and if I am going to run this file I will create a new root over here uh, let it be pqr and I will write here as which one uh, blade file it will be running it will be rendering one two dot blade dot php and if I am going to write here as pqr pqr if i'm going to enter this so it is going to like display a message over here as right guess so why it is going to display me a message here as right guess uh, there is no need of a uh, column to be written over here so a uh, blade is a standard file of laravel so in the blade file this add the rate syntax is properly rendered so this condition is now checked and a is equals to 10 so a is equals to 10 it has printed me the right guess and if same thing is written in normal php file and if i'm going to call this normal php file it is not going to print that so this is basically the difference between the blade file and a normal file i hope uh, the blade file the calling with the url this all thing is being clear to you thanks for watching the video and stay tuned with the with my channel to get the latest update about laravel